I'm taking mad breaks. I'm just doing the most, not doing anything at all, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Salute Marie, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this video today, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, y'all, so I'm back with another story time today from the title. You already know what your girl is about to talk about, so let's get into this video today. Okay, y'all, so I'm back with another story time, y'all. I'm sorry for my absence. Okay, y'all, life has been life, and I have been very busy working double overtime at work, you know what I'm saying? So... I know it's not like me to not post in two weeks, but your girl is here and I'm here to post, okay? I just want to give a quick shout out to my boyfriend for turning 30, y'all. Big sad season. I just want to tell him happy birthday. If y'all want to tell him happy birthday in the comments, go ahead and tell him happy birthday in the comments. Let's go hop right into the story time, y'all, because I know y'all been waiting for me to drop. So here we go, y'all. Let's get into this video. Okay, y'all, so this story time take back place. Girl, I cannot talk. This story time take back place when I was with the Jody, okay? And I am going to go back and get back on the Jody story time series, y'all. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way when, you know what I'm saying, niggas want to come for me and, you know what I'm saying? But that's, that comes with the territory, y'all. I have to understand that people, everybody not going to like when you speak on their name, you know what I'm saying? But my story is my story and I'm sticking to it and I'm sticking beside it and nobody ain't about to tell me what I'm not about to say or what I'm not about to talk about y'all. Period. <laughs> Period. Yeah. Period. But this is just a situation that happened when I was with Jody or whatever. So let's get into this video, y'all. Y'all remember when I told y'all how we used to go to Copycat House and it was like the trap house, y'all. We used to always be over there, y'all. That was like the spot that we would go to, even though Jody and you know, his sister can do whatever they wanted to back in the day, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you can't really do what you want to do in your grandma house, you know what I'm saying? So he will always go to his cousin copycat house or whatever, and we would just vibe over there because people could come over there, we could smoke over there, we can do whatever we wanted to do over there, y'all. And back then, me and Jody did not drink any alcohol at all, you know what I'm saying? But all we did was, you know, smoke or whatever. So it was a time where... um you know what I'm saying? We couldn't even get over there, y'all. It was to the point where my mom, me and my mom was sharing a car that my uncle had gave her. Well, he actually gave me the car, but then he, she ended up just taking over the car, y'all. And she was working at, like, this school back in the day or whatever, y'all. <clears throat> and she would always, like, walk to the school and just let me use the car, you know what I'm saying? And after a while, my mom got sick of doing that, even though it was, like, maybe, like, a five-minute walk. She just didn't want to do it no more, which I understand, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you say that's your car, so that's your car. If you don't want me to use it, then whatever. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, you know, around that time, y'all, me and Jody would just do some crazy stuff. We already had got dropped off at a copycat house or whatever, y'all. So... <laughs> We over there and we just like we need the we need the car because we we got a place we got to go people we got to see we got to shit just hope you know what I'm saying so I call my mama and I'm like ma like can you come get us and we can drop it back off and we can get the car from you huh and she like girl hell no if you want this car you come get it yourself I'm like ma but at the end of the day we don't have no ride over there she was like well if you really want the car you need to find your way over here and I'll give you the car so I'm just like. Okay, we'll figure out a way to get over there, y'all. So, we just over there, y'all. And when we was over there, y'all, this is around the time when niggas ain't really have money like that. We would literally go to the plasma center every other day. It was at a point, y'all, where Jody was so motherfucking skinny and he ain't got nothing to offer. Them people told him not to even come back. You know what I'm saying? Because it was taking him forever to even donate. And... We was really, really skinny back then, and it was a lot of times I would go in there, and they'd be like, girl, no, your iron is too low. You got to go. Like, you're not even on the, the, the level to be even donating any blood to us. Like, get your ass on. So, we would try to do that as a hustle, y'all, and I told y'all it came to a point where I pawned all my mama rings, y'all, just to get a sack of weed. That's sad, but it's the truth, y'all. Like, I was pawning this shit just to have money. You know what I'm saying? I think I lost my job at McDonald's. So, your girl ain't really have no money like that, and yeah, we was kind of getting them stuck. But them shits come when they wanted to come every six months five months you wouldn't get shit So we barely had any money y'all and every time we was over copycat them house We will be kind of starving a little bit, you know, what I'm saying but Jody always find a way to make sure we eat or whatever So we ended up just like Jody was like, you know I know how a shortcut to get to your mama house from you know copycat house like we could just walk there We could mob there and I'm just like wow Y'all, I don't walk no motherfucking weird. But it was the time that me and Jody had walked. Well, that's another time. But 
I was just like, walk. Like, I don't want to walk. He like, Dante, like, if you really want the car, then we going to have to walk and go get it. That's what she said, right? And I'm like, yeah, okay. He was like, just follow me. We can walk over there. Get your shit. Come on. And, y'all, I didn't want to leave none of my stuff at, um... At copycat house because it was so many random people just coming in and out of this boy house i just didn't feel comfortable with none of my shit sitting up in there y'all you know what i'm saying so i got all my personal belongings and we irked and we went ahead and started walking to my mom's house and i'm like so where's this shortcut at jody like where is we going and he was just like man just follow me calm down like we're gonna be there it take like five minutes y'all i kid you not me and this boy was walking at least 20 minutes, 30 minutes at max before we ever in, even ended up to my mama house. So we and him just having conversations. Jody is a character, so we were just laughing and talking the whole way there. So it didn't really feel like it took that long, but at some point of the conversation, I'm just like, damn, like, how close, like, where are we at? Like, when are we going to get there? He, like, calm down. Like, I told you, it's it's not that bad. It's not that far of a walk. But he wasn't tripping because back in the day, you know what I'm saying, when they had to get where they needed to go, they would walk. But I'm the type of girl, I'm not walking no motherfucking way. Them was the only times I ever walked in my life when I was around them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't got to walk no motherfucking way or walk. <laughs> but, yeah, we was walking it out and going there or whatever. So, y'all, we finally ended up at my mama's house or whatever, y'all. I go in there, probably get me something to drink, try to get hydrated, you know what I'm saying, hey, hey to my mama, whatever, and I urged y'all, and I know it was wrong, because I know my mom was looking at me like, girl, you just walked way over here for this fucking car for this nigga, and you ain't even gonna come spend time with your girl, but y'all, I was so in love with Jody, y'all, I didn't give a fuck about nobody that was around me but this nigga, and y'all, when y'all are young, you know what I'm saying, I know it feel like your nigga is the only, nigga, the only person that you have in life, but don't forget about your siblings, don't forget about the people that's always gonna be there for you, because at the end of the day, that nigga can leave whenever the fuck you wanna leave, and your family, they're they going to be still there looking at you sideways like, girl, yep, we still here for you when all you thought you had was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So we ended up getting the car or whatever. She told me when she would need the car back. I was like, okay, I'll I bring it back to you or whatever. We ended up leaving. We go back to copycat house, y'all. So around this time, you know what I'm saying, it was like this little, this little, place where you can go get food or whatever it was like you can get like hot dogs and shit like that or you can get like a pulled pork sandwich like shit like that but it's closed down now currently so you know when copycat would have his little bitches over there at his spot or whatever he would never feed his bitches like they would just be hungry as fuck like he would invite bitches over there to phone and he wouldn't give them no meal like they would just be hungry as hell so after we did all of that or whatever y'all we just chilling or whatever we smoking we just, you know, talk it, talking it up with each other, whatever, y'all. And Jody was just like, you know, we hungry. Like, we about to go get something to eat or whatever. And even though we had the car, I think, yeah, we had the car, but we just walked to the place because it was, like, right there. So, we was just like, we about to go walk to the, um, it was called Grill It Up, I think. I was like, we about, we, Jody was like, you know, Copycat was like, we about to go get us something to eat, bro. Like, straight up, like, you coming? And he was just like, yeah, I'll come. Now, mind you copycat he always had him a little whoop -de -whoop, you know what i'm saying at the crib or whatever that's one thing like i ain't even gonna speak on him but that nigga always had him a bitch <laughs> no matter what the circumstance was he always had him a little one so i guess whoever he left back at the crib i think the girl was staying there i don't know y'all but she was left at the crib while me and copycat and Jody went to this place called Grill It Up. So we ended up going there, y'all. We ended up getting something to eat. I think me and Jody split our food because back then I ain't really eat too much. And like I said, we ain't really have no money like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, Copycat ended up getting him something to eat. So Jody was like, damn, bro, like you're not going, you know, I forgot who the bitch was. Like, you're not going to get her nothing to eat. And he's like, hell no, I'm about, to, I'm about to eat this shit right now before I even get back. Bitch won't even know I had nothing to eat. Like, he literally ate all his food before we could even walk back to his house or whatever so he don't have to share his food with his bitch so we just looking at this nigga like damn nigga like you ain't shit like you don't give a fuck he like yeah man I'm eat my shit before i even get there fuck that bitch so we just like whatever so we over there enjoying our food eating getting full up you know what i'm saying because we know we about to go back in there and smoke again you know what i'm saying and chill or whatever so we ended up finishing up our food or whatever going back to the house we get there y'all now, I'm going to give y'all a few characters, okay? We got um, Gullible. We're going to call her Gullible. And we're going to call him Thief. Okay? So, it was Gullible and Thief at the house when we got back or whatever. And it was another guy. We're just going to call him Guy. I don't know what to call this man. But he was living there, too. Right? Y'all. Copycat will literally have so many people living at his house. Not even not even just living there, just there 24-7 all day, not helping pay no bill. Like they just be there soaking up 
I don't even know if this thing had air. But I don't want to blame too much. Soaking it up, y'all. And, and before I get into that, y'all, but when I left my mama's house, I ended up getting my blow-up mattress. And all the shit I needed. Cover, pillow, all the shit that I would need going back to Cupcake House. So keep that in mind, y'all. So we over there or whatever. And we see them or whatever. Of course, Jody know who these people are. So he's telling I'm, and And I seen Global plenty of times, y'all. And I ain't even about trying to be funny, y'all. At least 70% of the people that was at fucking copycat house was slow as rocks like i swear to god like something in the milk was a clean like though them people were slow like i don't know what the fuck was wrong with them it's like all them was just slow as hell so they introduced me or whatever to them of course i already met gullible and i ain't never really seen thief before you know what i'm saying but i'm just like whatever y'all i'd be so uncomfortable being around people i don't know especially if they look hood as fuck like i told y'all before i used to be scared of hood niggas you know what i'm saying at the end of the day if the nigga is too hood and doing too much i'm still scared like get away from me like i don't like all the extra shit so just looking at him i'm like yeah this nigga look hood nigga like but i ain't paying it no mind you know what i'm saying i ain't really got much to say i don't want to talk you know what i'm saying and back then y'all when when we was bored we would just listen to people like freestyle um do like little rap battles and shit and we would watch it like on and i had a laptop back in the day y'all so we would watch it on my laptop or whatever and we would just chill vibe out or whatever so we we all just chilling or whatever time going by y'all it's kind of getting late and gullible she had a car or whatever and thief he kept asking her he was just like can i borrow your car i just need to go to the store real quick mind you gullible was out of the 70 percent slow so she was just like you know no like i don't want you driving my car like no i don't know you're not driving my car nowhere he like please like i'll be right back i just gotta go to the store so he was just like you know uh she was just like no like i said no like you're not driving my car so at one point in time y'all this girl went to the bathroom and everybody just around there just talking or whatever she goes to the bathroom or whatever i don't know what this girl was in there doing but y'all she ended up leaving her fucking keys like in the front where people can see her keys or whatever mind you i got my shit took i know nobody don't want that little buick that's out there because it was like a little ran down buick they ain't want that shit that shit wasn't gonna get them nowhere they was gonna break down fucking with me if they he wanted to take my motherfucking car so this girl told this boy mad times, no, you cannot take my car. No, you cannot take my car. I don't know if that was a nigga she used to fuck with or her ex or whoever the fuck he was, but she knew him for real, for real. And they was just, she kept saying like, no. So while she was in the bathroom, y'all, we see this nigga take this girl car keys, right? So as he's taking the car keys, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody saying nothing. I don't think nobody really thought about it until this nigga pulled off. You know what I'm saying? So when he pulled off we like oh shit like he's taking gullible car so she comes back or whatever after a while she still was in the bathroom as this nigga then drove off of our car we just like you know thief took your car she was like what what i gotta get back to my kids he's in my car what why would y'all let him take my car we like we didn't know he had your keys like why you leave your keys in here like what the fuck like she was like no what the fuck like y'all you could tell like she was visibly upset Looked like she wanted to cry. I think she did cry at one point, y'all. And we was just thinking, like, sis, like, this was, um, I'm about to say this boy's name. This is what Copycat was saying. He always called people sis. He like, sis, just don't worry about it. He probably just was going to go down the street. He coming right back. Don't worry about it, y'all. So she was just like, okay, but I told him I didn't want him driving my car, this and that and that and this. Jody, everybody just sitting there, like, looking like, oh, shit, like, this nigga really just took this nigga car. We kind of low-key laughing, but, you know what I'm saying? We just thinking that he going to come right back. Like, we thinking, like, it ain't no big of a deal. He just going to come right back and bring this girl her car. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> so we just sitting there, y'all, waiting for this nigga to bring her car back. 30 minutes then pass, an hour then pass. This boy still ain't come back with her car. Now she's crying, she's upset, she's mad, or whatever. And we just like, girl, he just stole your car. Like, you sure he gonna come back, or whatever? Everybody's like, you sure he gonna come back? The boy's just like, yeah, he gonna come back. So after a while, y'all, she got fed up. After two hours, she called the police, okay? She called the police up and was like, hey, you know, and she knew his name and everything. She told, she told on him. She was like, hey, you know, somebody stole my car, whatever. This is his name. You know what I'm saying? I did not give him permission to take my car. I guess we should call, put a bolo. I don't know. Be on the lookout, you know what I'm saying, for whatever type of car this girl had. You know what I'm saying? So she's just sad as fuck saying she got I think she had to go to work. I, I don't know what she had to do, y'all. She had to go get her kids or something. Something important she had to do. 
And this boy just literally took this girl car. Like it was like he was gone for hours, y'all. Like we just smoked so many blunts at this point, y'all. We thinking it's funny, you know what I'm saying? We not making it a big deal at all. And the man that I call Guy, he will be in and out of the bathroom. He wouldn't really be into nothing for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Only time I really seen him come out was when he was getting like something to eat or something to drink. And then he'd be right back in the room doing him, minding his fucking business. Like he just was out of the way. Like, yeah, he knew the girl car got stolen, but he ain't have nothing to do with that. He just went back in the room. He paid it on my... But we was just all out there, you know, trying to see what the fuck was going to happen, you know what I'm saying, with her car. So after a while, y'all, I don't even think the police ended up coming. Or if they did, she probably got like a re report on him or whatever. But the boy was gone so fucking long with the car. It was ridiculous. Like, I think the police kind of like stayed by to see if he would come back, y'all. I kid you not. It was like four or five hours before this boy ever came back with his girl car. He comes back. And he ain't say sorry or nothing. He give her her keys back. And he was just like, you know, I had to make a quick run. You was acting all stingy with your car or whatever. I told you I needed to go somewhere. She was like, you know, that's not your fucking car. You can't just take my car. I called the police on you. You going to jail. All this and all that, y'all. So I kid you not, the police then pulled back up, took this boy to jail for stealing her fucking car. You are really gone. For real. So I was just like, damn, like, that's what you get at the end of the day. Like, you did too much. Like, why the fuck would you steal this girl's car? Just because you had to go make some money. And I promise you, this boy probably ain't even make no motherfucking money. Ain't no telling where the fuck he went. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm glad he ain't crashed the bitch car. So we was just like, damn, like, he bold as fuck. Like, and I think he really went to jail for stealing that girl's car that day, y'all. So after that, everybody kind of cleared out. You know what I'm saying? Gullible. She ended up going her way. She got her car back. And I think he went to jail like dead ass. Like, I really think the boy went to jail or whatever for stealing her car, as he should. Because why would you do that? Like, that girl had someone she had to go. She got kids. She got a job, I thought. I think. I don't know. She had, you know, places where she had to go. And you just take her out of her way, stealing her fucking car. Are you dumb? You know what I'm saying? So, after that, y'all. After all the people cleared out, you know what I'm saying, Copycat was in the room with his little boo or whatever. We was in the living room, y'all. It was no TV in the living room at all, you know what I'm saying? So I would just use my laptop to be on. Um, Jody, his sister, wasn't around at the time. I think she went somewhere. Or she just wasn't there that day because she would always have stuff she, she had to do, y'all. That was one busy girl, okay? Like, back then, she used to really be living her life, for real, for real. So she wasn't there or whatever. And it was just me and... um jody in the living room at that time y'all guy he went and left we don't know where this man went he was gone for a long time like after he went in the room and came back or whatever we did see him go out when we was all in a frenzy about the car or whatever but we didn't pay him no mind like he was literally like in and out like you barely see this man you know what i'm saying so as time went on y'all me and jody was like yeah let's let's bring out the blue up bed come on let's go ahead and lay down like at this time y'all it was late it was about one uh, in the morning like we like nobody's coming you know we late you know what i'm saying let's get in the bed so we go ahead and pump up the air matches or whatever y'all and we waiting for it to get uh pumped up we take a turns excuse me we take a turns blowing up the air matches or whatever y'all because you know that shit kind of hard when you don't got the automatic and you got to pump that shit with your foot so we doing the most trying to get the shit to pump up y'all and but the air matches that we had it had like little holes in it or whatever so just know in the morning bitch you on the ground okay and at copycat house he had fucking cement floors that's how you know you live in the hood when you got cement floors y'all it ain't no towel it ain't no carpet it's cement okay hard as motherfucking rocks so we pumped up the bed or whatever, laid our sheets down. We lay on the bed. Jody, he start going down south, you know, eating the yams. Is that the yams? So, I don't know. He started eating fat ma or whatever. And I'm just like, you know, can you not? I'm scared. Like, y'all, I was scared to do that in somebody else's crib. I'm like, he like, bro, don't worry about them. Like, they sleep. They not coming back out here. Like, I told Copycat what's going on. Like, we good. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, he going to town doing him or whatever. At some point, y'all, you know what I'm saying? 
he was just like, uh, we did it a little bit. And he was like, you know, let's do 69. That was the only way I would really, and, it, and we'll talk about this later, y'all. But that was the only way I would really, like, go down on Jody is if we was doing 69, y'all. This, I never really, you know, gave that man slop top for real. I mean, I did, you know what I'm saying, in the beginning. But he told me that I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> So I never felt comfortable giving him slop top. And then I never felt comfortable anyway after I kept finding out this nigga was cheating on me. So I mentally just could not do it. Like stomach it to be sucking this man pity whacker. And I know he's sticking it in every bitch. Every. It was Brenda, Letitia, Karen, Felicia. Like y'all, I'm telling you. I just mentally just couldn't do it. So we, I turn around y'all. We doing 69 or whatever. And. Y'all, I would literally just, let me give y'all an example. While he be down there, you know, eating fat mom, whatever, and we do a 69, I would literally be just doing this, y'all. And then I lay it right there, slap, <laughs> slap that shit on my <laughs> Do this. <laughs> and I act like I'm doing some shit, but y'all, at the end of the day, I'm not really doing anything. I'm taking mad breaks. I'm just... Doing the most, not doing anything at all, y'all. So, the way Copycat House was set up, y'all, any and everybody could just bust on in, you know what I'm saying? And we didn't hear nothing. And the way the the way the the uh, blow up bed was positioned, we couldn't. We was like in the front, like right by the door. But mind y'all, it's kind of dark. But when you open the door, you could see like the outside. You know what I'm saying? So, we hear the door just open, this fling open, y'all. Mind you, my cootie cat is facing the door. My head is underneath the cover, so I can't see anything. You know what I'm saying? The only thing down here is balls, okay? Balls and me. So, whatever's up top, I can feel the breeze. So, when the door opened, I felt nothing but cold air on my ass. And I flop, I... I flop back down in the bed, y'all, and try, and I try, I'm like, what the fuck? So, jo oh, Jody was just like, you know, Dante, like, oh, shit. So, we, like, we look up, y'all. At this point, I'm, I'm not looking nowhere. I'm still down there with the balls in the meat, underneath the covers, you know what I'm saying? And Jody covered up my butt or whatever. He trying to act like he ain't doing nothing. So, it was the dude, God, he comes back in. He like, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm fucking y'all up. Go ahead. I'm going right in the room. Y'all go ahead and finish what y'all doing. My bad. I ain't mean to interrupt y'all. Go ahead. Oh, come on now, dog. Come on, man. So after that, y'all, I was just thrown off. You know what I'm saying? Jody was just like, Dante, come on, let's finish. Nigga, no. I don't want to do it no more. This nigga didn't caught me with my 2 hat to the sky. I know he's seen it, y'all. But then again, I'm black. So, who knows? But I seen the light from outside underneath the covers. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just like, oh, my God, y'all. My stomach was in my ass. I just felt so weird after that. So, me and Jody, we finished. But we didn't finish doing 69 or whatever. We, we, he just kind of banged me out. And we was just done. And we went to sleep, y'all. We woke up on the floor in the morning because the bump bed, it did. It deflated or whatever. And in the morning, you know what I'm saying? That man act like that never happened. Because I'm over there in my head. I'm always like, he going to be saying, like, he going to sprang it up. He going to be telling people that he seen my stuff. He like, Dante, you doing too much. That man don't give a fuck about you. He don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, it is what it is. You act like grown people don't fuck. Like, you sound stupid as fuck. We got caught. It is what it is. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, you act like it's your mama that caught you. But in my mind, I'm overthinking it. I'm just like, oh, my God. He just seen me tooted up. Like, ew. The next day, y'all, that man act like that never happened. He probably was high as fuck when he came in there. He probably didn't even remember what happened, y'all. But I was low-key embarrassed. I never had nothing like that happen before. I never even got caught by nobody. So, I was just like, damn. But, y'all, it, it, that was the really the story. <laughs> it was a crazy day. It was always crazy shit happening at copycat house um even though i didn't really like copycat back in the day like that you know what i'm saying it was always was like kind of a vibe going over there it was always drama and everything you know you know happening over there y'all and it was always a time you know what i'm saying because when you're around hood rat shit you 
it's like you can't go back to your normal life because you're so into the drama, into the shit that's going on. Y'all, I ain't have crazy shit like that happening at my house. The only thing crazy was happening was my mama getting into it with her niggas. And I got tired of looking at that. I need to see some other shit. Okay, y'all? But that is the story time, y'all. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Support your girl. Follow your girl on all social medias. That's at TikTok, Absolute Marie, and Instagram, Absolute Marie. And always make sure your post notification bells is always turned on. So every time I post another video, y'all what? <laughs> Tune in. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. And make sure y'all get your girl to 1K subscribers, y'all. I already know. I already know. If I ain't take that little two-week break, I probably would have been at a 1,000, y'all. But I'm back. So go ahead and get your girl to 1K subscribers, y'all. Support your girl. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.